Luxury Canon. Here we have a 2023 Kia EV6. And we're gonna take a look and diagnose this vehicle. Take a look at the hybrid system. Check it, take a look at why we have those warning lights on the screen there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the Ucanic scanner. We're, uh, right now we're running what's called a quick scan. It's going through all the control units. On this car, as you can see, there's quite a few control units and it's looking for fault codes. And we're gonna let this finish. We're gonna dive a little bit deeper. As we can see here, the scan is complete. Well, you can see we have quite a few fault codes. Um, so we have codes in the ABS control unit. We have fault codes in the integrated, integrated body control unit, tire pressure monitoring system. Um, we have fault codes. So it's in a couple other control units, but what you could do is you can click on this and you can actually see the fault codes if they're active or stored or you can um, click on the name of the control unit so you can enter it or you can go down at the bottom here hit report scroll down here and then you can see a list of all the fault codes now you can email this list you can um, save it you can email it to someone if you like but you can see all the fault codes in here the code in the description all right um, so you also what you can do is you can hit erase and it'll go through each of those control units that have full codes and try to clear them now they're not going to clear all uh, full codes but stored old codes that are going to clear uh, newer codes are not going to so if we enter ABS control unit for example you can you see here we can read the codes now we're only looking at the ABS control unit okay uh, you can clear them. You can look at live data. So if you're like wondering which ABS wheel speed sensor is faulty, you can select all, and then you have the wheel speed sensors here, which will change the value as you drive. And you can also graph it up to four graphs at a time. Uh, you can go back here. You can do active tests. You can like run the ABS pump, for example, to do ABS bleeding, things of that nature. You can control the, uh, the valves and so on. Um, so one uh, thing that I want to look at is the hybrid, uh, the, um, the EV battery. I don't want to exit it because um, that is something that uh, a lot of you are interested. You want to check the health of the hybrid, uh, of the EV battery, of the battery pack. So let's find that control unit. So to look at the EV battery, uh, Again, this is not the hybrid battery, it's the EV battery. Um, uh, what we want to look at, we want to go to the BMS battery management system. And this is what monitors your uh, electric battery. You can read codes from it. Might, luckily, there's no fault codes on this one. You can clear them, you can look at live data though. And this is where you find a lot of helpful information. If you're looking to check the status of the EV battery, I select all and hit OK. Now this is a very long list. It's telling us the state of charge of the battery. It's telling us the current that's being drawn. Uh, it's telling the temperature of the different modules, maximum voltage, and if you keep scrolling down here, the caps, capacity and power of the EV battery. But this is important, cell voltages. You can see the cells of each, uh, the voltages of each cell. And this is helpful because it, this is how you can figure out if you have a cell that's defective and which one it is. You can come in here and you'll see these values right here. Another problem that could uh, be going on is that if these one of these cells uh, is not charging at the same range as the rest of them, so like you can see here we have all these cells at about 3.8, 3.78, 3.79, 3.8, uh, which is good. But if you have one at like 3.6 and the rest of them are uh, at a different level then the battery pack could shut down because or that at least that module because that could be dangerous you don't want one cell that's not charging correctly or it's overcharging because they can overheat and then explode and catch fire so what the manufacturers will do is they'll make sure that the uh, the battery will shut down if you have a case where the voltage is way off for one of the cells compared to the rest of them. So here we have 96 cell, cells. You can see internal resistance, um, temperature modules again. 
there's a lot of live data and this is only half of it so far but I'm going to scroll through this and this is only the data for the battery though so the BMS that, that's pretty much it it's showing the cells again there without the names but you can see all the way down here at the bottom cell balancing status yes relay on count 4000 number of balancing cells and you can record this also and then play back later and take the car for a test drive for example and then see what's going on with the cells and then come back and take a look at it with when you are in the garage but uh, this is now you can also if we go back to the home of the BMS you can have the active tests this is where you can control parts since we're under the BMS we can control uh, the, uh, the battery but if we're into in another control module like we were earlier we can control um, that module that we have entered you can see here fan you can main relay on and off pre-charge relay you can control that on uh, pre-charge relay on quick charger relay main relay 12 volt battery state of charge calibration and um, a couple other things in here so you can run tests like you can select it ignition is on start and you can do the same thing with these relays as well or you can control them just like that so that's all uh, you can enter any of the control modules uh, you can enter them even if they don't have fault codes so uh, let's say the cluster module or AC airbag let's just enter the cluster module and you can see you can enter there you can run active tests on it indication indicator all on ignition on we started we see the instrument cluster all the lights are on and we stop it and they turn off so that's all uh, you can run a couple other um, gauges on for example you can see all gauges on and the numbers going up and down I'm gonna stop it and let's go back and that's um, how you can use the Mechanic scanner to diagnose your Kia EV6 thank you for watching Mechanic where you can be the mechanic